earlier today in the House, um, the Progressive Labor Party asked the Minister of Finance to table the entire airport development agreement. At our last meeting, he said that he was going to table the airport development agreement. It was not tabled. Um, only a portion of that agreement was released. However, all of the schedules that are inside of that agreement, which contain vital issues, such as the land that is going to be turned over to uh, ACON, such as the money, taxpayer money that is going to be guaranteed to be paid to ACON, and the projections of which they're using for this project. All of those items have not yet been turned over, and I think it is impossible for the people of this country to actually adequately state whether or not this contract is a good deal without seeing the numbers and to see what the government has negotiated. Today, the Minister of Finance got up and responded and said that all of the schedules have been redacted, so he cannot table them. This is an affront to democracy, this is an affront to right-thinking people, and this is an affront to the people and taxpayers of this country to have a minister of the government stand up, the deputy premier and the minister of finance say that all of the information insofar as the amount of money of which he has negotiated in the future that is going to come from the taxpayers is private and cannot be shared with the people's representatives. The fact that remains is that this is information that has to be made public. This is information that is required in order to make sure that we know that we are getting a good deal. And this is information that the Progressive Labor Party will continue to press for and will use all legal means at our disposal to bring transparency to an agreement that is looking to give away our airport to a Canadian company without a tender for 30 years, which means Billions of dollars of revenue that will leave this country, that would regularly come to the people of this country, are going to go to a Canadian company. It is not right, and we need to know what the minister has negotiated. I think what's also interesting is that with all the stuff of where we're talking about um, finances and making sure that we follow the rules and the regulations, the minister of finance negotiated a contract that stated that when all is said and done and the airport is priced and how much will be, if the Minister of Finance or the government elects to ask anyone else to see if they can give us a better deal, ACON has the right to void the contract and the people of this country have to pay a penalty. That is what was negotiated by the One Bermuda Alliance government. That was what was approved by the ministers of the cabinet. And that was what was signed by the Deputy Premier and Minister of Finance, who is supposed to be the one who is upholding financial regulations, but is now being said that the taxpayers of this country will have to pay a penalty if we even look to get a better deal. It is a shame, and the Progressive Labor Party will continue to hold the Minister of Finance to account on this project, which is not in the best interest of Bermudians.